Axonometric 9, Junior Cert 2009. You're asked to draw the axonometric axis and the elevation and end you at 15 degrees. You're also given a 3D graphic of the model. What I've done first is I've drawn the points in from the top here and now trace the points. So follow each point in and get the isometric of that point. And that's the top complete there now. Now take the circle. I've marked three points, random points on the circle and drawn them back at 90 degrees. Using a template, I mark the bottom here and those two points and transfer them over to the elevation. Mark them off on the elevation there and draw those lines across the elevation. And now project the points in at 30 degrees from the end view and the same from the elevation. Trace the points. That's the curve. Now line it in. Now do the back curve. Bring down the other points, the back. Again, trace them in again. And that's the back curve. Now the base. So bring down the points from the base. And from the elevation. And now trace those points. So we're following in from the end view at 30 degrees. And just get the top of the platform. And that's the front edge of it done. Now that's where it's going to be just there. Now to get the bottom points. And that's the four points at the bottom. That's the front of it there now. Now there's a back point here. And that's all the points found. Now it's a case now of lining in your drawing. And add a little bit of colour to it. And I've used a scale of four to three there. 